video on ISRO Scientist Electronics Post Preparation. So we have been uh, doing a series of videos for this post preparation that is ISRO Scientist Electronic Post. So today also we will be seeing some of the previous year questions which has been asked in the previous year examinations of ISRO Scientist Electronic Post. So let us see what is the first question. Gain and noise figure of a single stage amplifier is 10 dB and 3 dB. When two such amplifiers are cascaded, then gain and noise figure of cascaded amplifier is dash. A. Gain 20 dB. Noise figure 3.2 dB. B. Gain 20 dB. Noise figure 6.0 dB. C. Gain 13 dB and noise figure 3.6 dB. Then D. Gain 13 dB and noise figure 6.7 dB. So this question is connected to the cascaded amplifiers. Now the cascaded amplifier means we are taking some amplifiers and we are going to cascade them. right? So let us assume that these are amplifiers and the output of the first amplifier is given to the input of the second stage and the second stage also the output is given to the third stage that is the input of the third stage and likewise we are going to cascade the amplifiers. Now if the gain of the first amplifier is G1, gain of the second amplifier is G2 and gain of the third amplifier BG3, then the total gain is G1 plus G2 plus G3 will be your total gain, right? So why we are actually cascading these amplifiers is for this purpose, that is for increasing the overall gain, we are going to cascade the amplifiers, right? So here it is given that uh, single stage amplifiers, Two amplifiers are there and each of which is having gain of 10 dB, right? So if each of these amplifiers is having 10 dB gain means here it will be G1 and G2 only because there is only two amplifiers, right? So the total gain will be G1 plus G2, right? So here the G1 and G2 are 10 and 10. So it will be 20 dB. That is the total gain or the overall gain of the cascaded structure or the cascaded amplifier will be how much 10 dB plus 10 dB which is equal to 20 dB. So from this answer we can eliminate two of these options which are C and D because here it is gain is given as 13 dB and gain again it is given as 13 dB. So which is not your answer. Now we have obtained the gain part. Now let us see how the noise figure will change when the amplifiers are cascaded, right? So, if you are going to cascade some amplifiers, let this be the first amplifier, let this be the second one, let this be the third one, and similarly up to n number of amplifiers we are cascading, right? Now, let the gains be G1, G2, G3, etc. up to G of n, okay? Now, the noise figures are taken as NF1, NF2 and NF3 etc. up to NF of N. I am going to take. These are the noise figures. Then while cascading the overall noise figure is given by the equation. Overall noise figure is equal to NF1 plus nf2 minus 1 by g1 plus nf3 minus 1 by g1 g2 plus etc up to nf n minus 1 by g1 g2 etc up to g of n minus 1. So just look at this equation. See here, the noise figures are NF1, NF2, NF3, etc. up to NF of N, right? So, how will the, uh, the overall noise figure vary is, first one is the NF1 itself, that is the noise figure of the first amplifier. And the second term is NF2, that is the noise figure of the second amplifier minus 1 by the gain of the first amplifier. So, why this is happening is because while cascading, this amplifier is not having any previous stages. But this amplifier, whereas the G2 is having a previous stage of amplifier, which is having a gain of G1. And this 
G1 or this amplifier will have an effect on the noise figure of the second stage, right? Similarly, for G3, these two amplifiers will have an effect on their noise figure NF3. So, that is why NF3 minus 1 by G1 into G2. So, similarly, for the last stage, NFN minus 1 by G1, G2, for all the previous stages gains we have to take. So, this is how the overall noise figure will vary. So, this noise figure concept you should make it is clear. Okay. So, for this question, we have only how many stages? We have only two stages, right? So, I am just going to draw two stages. These are my two stages. And I have given the noise figure as 3 dB. That is, I have given the dB value of noise figure. This is the ratio. This is not the dB value I am talking. So, the 3 dB is actually 10 log 10 of some value is equal to 3 dB. Right. So, log 10 of x. We don't know the value of the noise figures. This NF1 equal to NF2 here because both are having 3 dBs. Right. So, let it be x. So, in order to find the x, we have log 10 uh, log to the base 10 x equal to 3 dB by 10 is equal to 0 0.33 or 0 0.3. So, if you take the anti-logarithm, what will be the value of x? x equal to 2 you will get. So, I will make this concept a little more clear. That is, we have given the value of the noise figure as 3 dB. That is a dB value. We need the, the number or the uh, integer value of NF1 and NF2. So, in order to find that, we have to take this equation. That is, 10 log 10 of the noise figures. Let it be x equal to the given 3 dB. And if you take this, uh, that is, if you find the value of x, you will get x as 2. Now, you have your NF1 equal to NF2 equal to 2. That is actually a ratio. So, we have now NF1 and NF2. Now, how to find the overall noise figure? The overall noise figure is equal to, the overall noise figure, how will we calculate it? Just now we have discussed the equation, right? So, it is NF1 plus NF2 minus 1 by G1. Okay. So, NF1 is 2 plus NF2 is also 2. So, 2 minus 1 by G1 is how much? It is 10 dB. So, it will be 2 plus 1 by 10. That is 2.1 will be your overall noise figure. Now, this is given in the, this is the noise figure, right? But we have to find the dB values here because all the values given are in dB. So, take the 10 log 10 of 2.1 and you will get the result as 3.2 dB. So, the correct answer is 3.2 dB is your noise figure in dB value. So, for this question, your correct answer is option A. That is gain equal to 20 dB and noise figure equal to 3.2 dB. The next question which we are going to discuss is from the bipolar junction transistors area. The question is, a BJT is having common emitter current gain 100. Common emitter current gain is given. Considering 10 volt supply, VB is equal to 0 0.7, what will be the value of RC and RB to set the quiescent point at IC equal to 10 milliampere and VC equal to 10 volt? This is a very basic question, but you have to understand how to find the values of RC and RB. Now, what all things are given in the question? Let us see. So, in the question, it is given that the common emitter current gain is 100. So, we have already discussed in our first video that common, there are three uh, current gains. That is common emitter, common base and common collector. Common base current gain is alpha. Common emitter current gain is beta. And common collector current gain is gamma. Now, here we are given the common emitter current gain, which is beta. Beta is given as 100. And we know that beta equal to what? Beta equal to IC by IB. Okay. So, we have given the value of IC by IB as 
100. Also, considering 10 volt supply means the VCC. Here there is a circuit, right? There is a transistor. There are two resistors RC and RB out of which we have to find the value of this RB, R, RC and RB. And there is a there is a VCC here and this VCC is equal to 10 volt. The VBE is given us. VBE is a base emitter voltage. So this is which terminal? This is collector. This is emitter. This is the base. The base emitter voltage is given as VBE and that is equal to 0 0.7. So, VBE is equal to 0 0.7. I will write it here. VBE equal to is given as 0 0.7. Also, we have given the value of IC. IC equal to 10 milliampere. So, 10 milliampere is your collector current. Then, collector emitter voltage is given as 8 volt. We have to find the value of RC and RB. Now, from this figure, what will be the value of your RC? RC is the, the resistance connected in the collector terminal, right? So, it will be equal to VCC minus VC, the voltage between the collector and the emitter by the collector current, which is the IC. That is, RC is equal to VCC, VCC minus this voltage, that is collector emitter voltage, that is VCE by the collector current, that is IC. Okay, so what is the value? VCC is 10 volt minus VCE is 8 volt by 10 milliampere is equal to 10 raised to minus 3. So, 10 minus 8 is 2. 2 by 10 is 0.2. So, we will get 0.2. This 10 raised to minus 3 if coming into the denominator will be 10 raised to 3. That is 0.2 into 10 raised to 3 ohms. Or we can write it as 0.2 into 10 raised to 3 is equal to 200 ohms. Is your value of RC. Okay. So, the value of RC is 200 ohm. Let us see the uh, options now. So, here RC is 200 ohm. And here RC is 100, here RC is 2K, here RC is 20 ohm. So from this answer itself, that is from RC, if we find the value of RC, we can answer this question as the correct answer is your option A because that is only option having RC value equal to 200 ohm. But anyway, we will find the value of RB also. Okay, so I am just removing this RC equation. I hope you have noted down. So, I will repeat it once again. RC equal to VCC minus VCE by IC. That is a collector curve. Now, what is the value of RB? RB equal to, again RB is connected to VCC, right? So, VCC minus the base emitter voltage VBE by the current flowing through the base terminal. That is IB. Now, we have the value of VCC, which is 10. VB is also known 0.7. IB, which is not known. But from this equation, we can find the value of IB, which is equal to IB equal to IC by beta, right? So, we know that beta is equal to IC by IB. So, IB equal to IC by beta. I am going to replace this by IC by beta. And just substitute the values. This all the uh, terms are known. So, it will be equal to 10 minus 0 0.7 by IC is 10 by uh, beta is 10 milliamps you have to write. 10 into 10 raised to minus 3 by 100. To solve this, 10 minus 0 0.7 is 9.3 by uh, 10 by 100 is 0 0.1 into 10 raised to minus 3. So, this point and this point will get cancelled. Then it is 93. By 10 raised to minus 3 will be, if you take it as, uh, take it in the numerator, it will be 93k. So, the answer is 93k ohms is your RB value. So, again, it is correct for the option A, that is RB is equal to 93 kilo ohms. So, for this question, the answer of RC is 200 ohms and RB is 93 kilo ohms. So, the correct answer for this question is option A. 
So these are the questions which I have included in this video. We'll be seeing with more questions in the next videos. That is next videos of ISRO scientist preparation. I really hope you found this video useful for your preparation. If yes, please do give this a thumbs up and also do share this video with your friends and family. So if you're preparing for any of this exam, that is ISRO exams, RRB or GATE exams, please do subscribe to the channel and also share the channel link with all your friends. Okay, so please do subscribe and also share. Keep on watching and also thanks for watching.